Hey guys and gals and welcome back to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today we are going to be doing um, another instance of uh, Path of Fire. So, uh, what's just happened is we've just been to the top of some weird pyramid type thing, because why not? Um, and uh, we've just told Timey about Vlast, which is Orin's dragon brother. Um, she got a little bit excited and let out a little bit of wee. Um, and she's just uh, doing a lot of bitching about um, Ratanovas becoming a bit of a tourist attraction. Um, I think what's going to happen, from what she said, she's trying to upload all the data for from Ratanovas into Scruffy. Um, so uh, hopefully she'll be with us and a bit more mobile soon. But for now we're going to go into here because we've received a letter from um, that guy, uh, Zalambar, Zalambar, Zalambar whatever that guy um to come and see him he has some information for us so i'm going to just dodge away from this there we go. come on next let's go let's do this blazing a trail that sounds very familiar there we go okay <laughs> Over the banisters. oh it's knock what are you doing here enjoying your time off freedom is a sweet drink commander Oh, I've been busy quenching my thirst. You should join us. We were just about to meet with... Zalambur. I already know a thing or two about this place. A Silvari gambler who's up 500 gold is just my cover, I promise you. Now that he's free, it's okay if I kill him, right? Gentlemen, let's keep it civil. How about it, Kanak? While my freedom's been gratifying, it's also a little boring. This is much more interesting. Besides, I may have made a wager that the Slayer of Elder Dragons can take down a god, and I intend to collect. What are the odds? <laughs> Let's not jinx it, Commander. <laughs> oh dear. A million to one, maybe? <laughs> I can do this! Ye of little faith. Absolutely. Welcome back, Commander. It's an honor to have the members of Dragon's Watch in my humble establishment. Please, follow me. The Grand Zaheel is already back to running at full capacity, in no small part due to your earlier intervention. We have all the finest games and entertainment the Crystal Desert has to offer. Do you enjoy games of chance? When the odds are in our favor. I reached out across my network for information about Balthazar, and I think I know what he's after. Kralkatorik. You're half right. He's currently hunting down a crystal dragon, but that dragon is of last. Oh. I wonder why he'd suddenly change targets. Who among us can understand the will of a god? I do know his forged army has encampments all over the crystal desert. He stops at these camps to rally his troops while he's on the dragon's trail. So we might be able to intercept him at one of the forged camps. You've come through, Zalambor. I actually don't regret keeping you alive. The feeling is mutual, Commander. I'll take my leave now. Enjoy your time here, please. Stay away from the high-stakes roulette. It's rigged. I knew it. <laughs> so, who's up for a trip to one of these camps? Sounds good to me. Let's shut him down before he's responsible for anyone else's death. We don't want to rush in blindly. And if I'm going to be joining you again, I may as well make myself useful. I'll scout the main camp, see what I see, and report back. The main camp? On your own? Seems risky. Nah, not alone. I'll go with him. Hmm. Not the response I expected. Hey, vacations have a way of dulling a blade, so to speak. Can't let you fumble around unsupervised. That's more like it. All right. Kaz and I will check out the smaller outposts. Actually, I'll leave it to you if you don't mind. I have some matters to attend to. There's a temple of Cormir near one of the forged camps. You can find me there when you're done. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. I've no idea what half of this stuff is. I'm just kind of accepting. Yeah, I'll take that. That's fine. Yeah. 
go for it. I, I do, though, have to wonder how long this has been ready to... <laughs> how much experience I've actually wasted just running around. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that one next. Right. <laughs> Such a dick. Okay, so... That's interesting. So, Balthazar has, has kind of postponed going after Krautoric to go after Vlast. I have to wonder what his motive is there, because that seems pretty darn stupid. Because if you think, all it would take is for him to kill Krautoric, and, and Tyria probably just goes boom, or... or okay. that That's imploding. That's the sound it makes. Honest. So, anyway... <laughs> You would have thought he would just go after the main target, which is Kral Katarik, and then worry about Vlast and the other, you know... Um, well, he obviously knows about Aurene. Uh So, hmm... I have to wonder. I do have to wonder why he's going after Vlast first. I'm sure we will find out. Will we intercept him? Eh, who knows? Um, right now, I kind of don't know where where this is going, like the, the path of fire, are we actually going to fight Balthazar in the end? Are we going to kill him? Or is that going to be part of the, you know, the personal story experience? Um, not sorry, the uh, living story. That's the one I was looking for. Um, I don't know. But we will soon find out. Enjoying this so far. I am enjoying this. Oh, and uh, just FYI, uh, the first video I did where I couldn't hear any of the dialogue or anything, um, it's was as I thought because I've got surround sound on and I was I had uh, the headphones in so that's why <laughs> I couldn't hear any sound so not wearing them anymore anyway that's enough for for me for today so come back tomorrow when we will do everything else ta-ta